Hi, how you doing? My name is Andre Cato, and today I am going to show you one of the sexiest toys I have ever laid eyes on. This is called the Pacemaker, and it's made by a company called Tonium. Four guys from Sweden who have gotten together and literally created, well, it's more than just a, a unit. It's a complete music solution that allows you to create and play music and interact with music and share your music the way that music should be shared and that's with love. Um, this unit is truly amazing. As you can see, it's about the same size as a, a PSP. Um, it actually weighs about 17 grams less than a PSP and is about four mil shorter than a PSP, so it fits nicely in your hand. Inside the unit, yeah, there is uh, what is ostensibly a, a mixer and two CD players or two turntables allowing you to control and mix music. The capacity of the drive inside is 120 gig. So you can basically store 5,000 high quality records or 30 to 40,000 uh, low quality MP3 tracks if that's your thing. The drive is a solid state drive, meaning that there are not the moving drive parts inside and it also means that you, if you were to accidentally drop it or throw it around while you're thrashing and DJing, um, it really, it's gonna take quite a few hard knocks before you destroy this little puppy. Um, as you can see, there's a screen at the top and there's a control surface down here at the bottom. In the middle, you'll find all the controls uh, in order, your, so your transport controls, which are Q and play, uh, reverse and forward. All of these buttons have secondary uses. Um, with a unit this small that does so much, obviously there are gonna be secondary uses. So as you can see, there is a track loaded here to deck A. Um, there's both deck A and over here, if I were to push this button, I would come over to deck B where I don't have a track loaded. But if we come back here to deck A, um, and then if I run my finger down, you'll see I get bass control. Now this is the EQ that you would find on any standard DJ mixer. So if I were to run my finger anti-clockwise, I will take bass out. And if I run it clockwise, I will add bass. Um, if I go to the three o'clock position, I will get the mid-range EQ. And if I go to the top, I will get treble. And if I go to the nine o'clock position, I will get gain control, which is absolutely amazing. It's basically the same as the three-part EQ and gain um, on a mixer. Now, in order to change from one track to the other, we have this touch control crossfader in the middle. Now on the other side of the unit, there's a very, very in important shift button. When I push this button up, um, suddenly my control surface down the bottom offers me a plethora of different options. So instead of uh, getting the bass EQ when I run my finger down, I now suddenly get an echo and I get a roll if I go over to the three o'clock position. If I go up, I get reverb. Now, as you can see, it says they're not available. That sometimes, um, obviously, when you have other effects activated, it won't let you add effects over some other effects. Um, so if I run my finger to the nine o'clock position, I get a high and a low pass filter. Now, all of the effects, except for the high low pass filter, have two parameters. So if I were to run my finger down twice, I will get the second parameter. It really is an amazing unit, and I think it's about time we had a listen to what it can do. Okay, now that we've actually got some audio plugged into channel A, let's have a bit of a listen to what it sounds like. To set your cue points for starters, you push play, then pause, find your exact cue point by dragging it forward and hitting the cue button. Then we are ready to go. 
obviously by using my crossfader. I can cut in and out of the track if I would like to. Now, we need to load another track into here. We want to match the BPMs, so on this one, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. You can connect it through headphones and cue everything as you would simply by selecting your side with your shift button pushed down instead of up and select the side that you would like to cue. Now, some of the controls we were looking at before. Bass. Oh, for starters, we must make sure we're on the right side. And we can jump back here. We might take the bass out here. Take the bass out of this one as well. Come back here. Might put the bass back into this one actually, so we can hear it when it comes in. We're on the loop once again. And I can edit that so it's perfect. And I can go back to it. And there you have the basic controls of the pacemaker. So to sum up, the pacemaker unit is a unit to share your music, to mix your music, or simply to listen to your music. Uh, but it really gives you all of the extra controls that you could ever want in order to interact with the music that you know and love and want to share. Um, up on the top of the unit, uh, there is a USB connection which is obviously how you connect it to your PC or Mac and that is how you load your music on and then ostensibly share it with the world. You can uh, record your mixes and upload them to your Pacemaker profile which is available at pacemaker.net um, and share your music with anybody that is willing to download it. So it really is an amazing unit. Here in Australia, the recommended retail of the pacemaker unit is uh, $1,099, and I believe the street price is $999. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to purchase one, you can check out my friend's website at www.storedj.com.au, and I'm sure they'll look after you. This has been another Andre Cato review and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks.